pray for the kids that are out in the hallway, Lord. And Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you would uh, continue to bless our schools and, and our teachers and staff, Lord. And we thank you for all you do. In your precious name, we do pray. Amen. 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 At this time, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Jason, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <clears throat> At this time, I'd like to open the floor for any public comments. <clears throat> I need a motion for the approval of the agenda. So, second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, motion for the approval of minutes. Make a motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 And Dr. Beasley for the superintendent's report. All right. Yes, we do have some recognition and celebrations tonight. So. Our first group, I think, is out in the hall. I don't know if they're all here or not. Let me. Most of them are. I see somebody else coming in. Missing one. Miss Missing one. It's Coach here. That's the main thing. So we got uh, Lance Chapman. Lance. Lance. Come on here, Lance. We'll just line everybody up. Congratulations, man. Good job. You bet. Is uh, Logan Spencer out there? Why are you winning? We have four. Good job, Logan. There you go. Javier Carranza. Congratulations, man. Thank you. You bet. There you go. Got Christian Carrillo. Congratulations, Christian. Nice job. We have uh, Braden Trivet. It's Braden. Are you a Pittsburgh fan? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on down there. We go. Got Wesley Carpenter. How much Carpenter? There you go. Congratulations. Tired? Well, catch up with you. Got Zach Red. Congratulations, Zach. There you go, buddy. We got Cole Brown. Gosh, is that the best sweatshirt you can wear, Cole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Mercy. We got Evan Woodle. He's not here. Not here, okay. We got Parker Jones back there. There's Parker. Sneaking out from back there. Congratulations, sir. Thanks. And is Connor? Connor? That's Connor right there. Congratulations, Connor. I did see you back there, buddy. Good job. And uh, since we got Connor here, he was also named the uh, outstanding MVP for the conference. So congratulations. We got you another one for that, too. All right? Good job. Just, I want to say congratulations, young man. You guys did a great job. And uh, very proud of you. Keep up the good work. I mean, Coach, you got anything to say? Uh, yeah, at the beginning of the year, a lot of people asked me, you know, oh, you knew what group you were getting into. And I really, truly, I didn't. Um, I, I didn't do football, so I picked these guys up. I had no idea. Showed up to tryouts, kept looking at Clyde. I said, hey, that, 
Oh, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's on your yeah, he's on your team. And I knew that we had a lot of potential to, to be good. And I told these boys every day, don't you know, everybody always tells them how good they are, but they've got to show it. And, you know, started off the season on fire, didn't miss, scored sixty some points, then we go and get beat, which I think was very humbling for us. Got beat by Star Mount, get hot, go on the road, start struggling a little bit. We lose to Central, lose to Star Mount again. When we got seated in the tournament, a lot of us wanted to be on the other side of the bracket, outside of those teams that we beat. And I told them, I said, guys, before we do this, I was like, you can't ask for a better season. You finish on top, you beat the two teams that beat you, you win the championship, and they responded. And they're, yeah, I, I, I mean, great group of kids. I, I'm not following time from coaching, but I've coached for about nine years now, and this, this is a special group. If they stay together, they're going to be – they're going to hang up more than just one little banner down there. We'll do one next year, and then hopefully we'll they'll bring some up to the high schools. Well, they're they're a great team. If they we got a lot of Duke fans on. Them too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're so good. It's the only thing I couldn't fix. It's the only thing I couldn't. I couldn't That's why they're so good. Get them away from us, the Duke. But, uh, but they're they're a great group, and they they earned this. They they did all this, and I, I couldn't be more proud of them. They're a fantastic bunch. Congratulations, guys. Well job. Well well done job, and uh, just keep working at it. That's all I can tell you. So thank y'all for coming tonight. How are we going to get them all in there? I think we can just scrunch in a little bit. Get in with them. Yeah. 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 Right. Some of y'all get in front. You have someone come around here now. I'm tall. Yeah. Oh, you can you love me. Perfect. Check out. Uh, I think so. We're trying to get out of the way. So. <laughs> you got it? All right. Thanks, guys. You're more than welcome to stay if you want to. Or you can leave. It's up to you. We're out. Let's see how it's going. I told them we were going to scrimmage. The other door next to the Yeah, we're going to scrimmage. 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 Yeah, we're going to No mistake. Alright, so we've got another recognition of a young man from the high school tonight that uh, just uh, competed in the truck driving competition. And we want to recognize him, Mr. Best. Uh, congratulations to Kevin Side in second place. Truck driver competition. Tractor. I mean, tractor. Tractor. I, I said tractor, I thought it was good to truck. Well, it's both. It's both, but he won the tractor. Yeah. Did we put the wrong thing on there? No. We did, see? I knew that. Sorry, we'll get it fixed. <laughs> 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 Come on up here, Mr. Best. Tell a little bit about the competition, if you don't mind. So, uh, it's a state FFA competition uh, in Orleans, Louisiana. It's called the Tractor Truck Driving Competition. back in November and the Elves will compete the state and there were 32 34 drivers there at the state and um, Kevin was second which um, almost as good as his older brother got first <laughs> <laughs> I keep bringing that up don't <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's awesome that's, 
awesome. It is awesome. Uh, it is awesome. Second place in the state uh, and um, very well deserved. I knew that he had a really good shot at it before we went down there. And, um, so, I that's a little bit about what you had to do. See? Not through the course. That's all you got to do. Yeah, I can try Okay. Right. To, to, to give you an, an idea of what it is, it's, a, it's an obstacle course, uh, pulling a trailer, and it's a lot of backing. Uh, you're backing down the alleyway, it's about 50 feet long, and uh, you've got about six inches on each side. If you touch a cone, then it's, uh, it's points taken off. you got to drive through. It's, it's just an obstacle course, and um, it really, it, is, uh, it takes a lot of skill to, uh, to get through it. And uh, uh, We've had three or four second placers, and... Uh, uh, Kevin is right there, one of the, the best we've had. So, did you win that hat there? <clears throat> what? Did you win that hat? I saw it. Well, give him a hat and a trophy. Yeah. Uh, well, well, congratulations, you. Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Uh, Let me get a picture with you. How about that? Yes. Yes. Be all right. Yeah. 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 You'll get it every time. Okay. No. I'll come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think we got it. Right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe you want to stick around for the meeting? I would advise not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Thank you. We'll, get, uh, we'll get that fixed. All right, thank you. You can leave that door open. Yep. Thank you. All right, so I think next is Miss Roxanne Rudd. Come on up here, Roxanne. Are you going to go up here front in front of everybody? So, <laughs> so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no. So I, I don't know if you, you know Miss Roxanne Rudd, but she is there teacher at the high school. And uh, this year, she is the NCA, NCCAT, CTT Teacher of the Year. Uh, it was developed to honor and retain excellent CTE, can you talk? CTE teachers and education leaders in North Carolina public schools and public charter schools. So our teacher here is, is Roxanne Roten. She's a health science teacher at Allegheny High School. And if you've never been up there looking at her program, the kids love her. They love the program. It's been successful for a long time. And these teachers are extremely hard to find, just to be honest with you. And uh, we're so glad you're with us. And we hope you stay quite a while too. So, but, uh, hard to find, hard to keep. Yeah, hard to find, hard to keep. But uh, anyway, uh, we appreciate what you do and our kids do too. But, and we wish you the best of luck at the next level at NCAP. So I think you got a great chance at it. But just uh, congratulations and thank you so much for what you do. So there's a little, just a little something of appreciation for us. Can you get a picture? Sure. 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 Yeah, let me get a picture. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, Roxanne. Thank you. you like to speak? You can speak, I know you like to talk. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I will say, when I first started, I thought two weeks, I was in tears. I thought, good Lord, what have I stepped myself into? I mean, I thought, oh my gosh, it's such a big difference between being with our patients and then being with students. But really, when you take a look, you know, we teach our patients. And the big thing is caring for our patients and our students. And you know that, they go hand in hand. So. Well, thank you. Thank you. You wanna, I know you got Thank you. And next, I'm gonna turn it over to two young ladies down here tonight. It's gonna share a little bit about our uh, CT month. Presentation. So. I'm just going to let Daisy go first and then I'll go. Okay. So, hey guys. Hey, Daisy. Um, my name is Daisy Penley and I'm the middle grades career development coordinator, or CDC, slash careers teacher. But I'm here to broadcast all the good things, which the easy part for me is it's all good. So, so nothing to worry about here. Alrighty, so some updates. So, thanks to the partnership of Gear Up. Um, last year, middle school, we kept the ropes pretty hot. Um, we took 6th and 8th grade to Wilkes Community College to tour, which was huge because, because of COVID, we haven't been able to do that in quite some time. Um, so these are some pictures, and then we took 7th grade to app. Um, the reason why we took 8th grade 
to Wilkes Community College because number one, they missed it as sixth graders. But number two, we purposely targeted those CTE pathways, which they're about to introduce, to get introduced to at the high school level. Um, so Sparta eighth grade saw all the health sciences and Glade and Pines, they were able to see agriculture and construction. So it was very, very successful trips. And again, thanks to Europe, we've been seeing lots of money traveling. <laughs> Alrighty, we've had some awesome guest speakers as well. Um, so if you know my schedule, I'm at all three schools. So we really, really appreciate guest speakers because they have to go to all three schools with me. Um, we had the credit union represented a local artist. His name is Samuel Burr. Um, the Carolina Farm Table, um, which he has a small business here, and then Tracy Taylor. So the kids really enjoyed him, especially at Clayton Piney because they love my guys were really invested in those guys. <clears throat> All right, so some industry and high school tours. So right before Christmas break, um, eighth grade, we, they were able to tour Tri-State Components as well as Pioneer Clips because their goal this year was to expose middle school students not only to colleges but also local industries as well. Eighth grade also, this was about, what, two weeks ago? We, we had the CTE Showcase Day. That's when all of the eighth graders are bused into the high school and they actually get to take a tour of CTE classes. Uh, so this is really helpful, especially because it's right before scheduling. So they can kind of see, maybe get a little bit of an idea of what health science might look like or um, construction might look like. Plus, you know, for some of these kids, this is the first time they've been inside the high school. Um, so again, just trying to get them exposed to what's coming up very quickly. It's all about the club. So Mr. Jones, Mr. Danny Jones, um, he has started not one, but three clubs at the middle school level. Um, he has TSA, he also has radio club and run club. So with TSA, um, they have not heard anything yet, but their first competition was this past Friday and it was virtually. So we're expecting him, we're expecting to hear the results here soon to see how they place and then hopefully go on state. Now what's TSA do? TSA, that is the technology, it's like a technology type club. Top, no, technology yes. Skills yes. Association. Okay. So it's really focused on STEM or okay. science, technology, engineering, and math. Right. So what's coming up? Um, for me, definitely more guest speakers. Um, the career fair, which is in about a month, um, and career slash summer job fair, which me and Ms. Russell are tag team in that. Um, STEM and liter literacy nights, so all three schools will have those nights in March or April. Um, industry visits for air sixth and seventh grade, that's coming up in April. And then my last big event of the year will hopefully be a downtown walking tour um, for our eighth graders because you know, a lot of them don't really know what all downtown has to offer or can even name three stores downtown. Um, so again, as you know, it being um, in Allegheny County, we have lots of entrepreneurs and being a career teacher, that is a very common career path, whether that's full-time or part-time. So that's about all I got. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dana Russell. I am the CIMC up at the high school. Um, this month has been hashtag CTE month. The month of February, we always uh, celebrate everything CTE. And as you can see, I have a few pictures. We have celebrated so far a lot of our CTE students. Each month we uh, pick a few of our students to be CTE uh, students of the month and those are chosen by their teachers and we celebrate them and we tell all about the great things that they do in CTE and what they and what CTE has done for them. We've also um, this year um, celebrated National Agriculture Day. Uh, agriculture is a big part of Allegheny County. We celebrated both of our great ag teachers, Bill and uh, Bill Hash and Jamie Vestal. Um, we also this year have um, 
started our electrical trades pathway, which um, Mr. Gary Finney is um, over that, and it has been a great success. We've had lots of students, and actually, we'll have four students, you know, hopefully by the end of this semester, complete the electrical trades pathway. They ta they have taken electrical trade. They've taken core and construction, electrical trades one, and electrical trades too. So that, I think that's a big accomplishment, especially in its first year, mm -hmm. to have that many students to pass uh, through or go through the program and pass um, the concentrator courses for the electrical trades. So we're really excited about that. If you'll go to the next slide. Um, we have a lot of great things happening at the high school level. We have a lot of credentialing uh, going on. We have credentials in health science. We have credentials in Adobe. We have Photoshop and Premiere Pro as well as Illustrator. Um, Ms. Roten, who just left, and she is our CTE Teacher of the Year. She does CPR, uh, the OSHA Health Science Health Sciences uh, certification, as well as Stop the Bleed. So those are three certifications that our students get in the health science field. We have the NCCER certification for both construction, um, construction core and carpentry and electrical trades. And we have several students who have passed all of their NCCER certifications and modules to get that certification um, this year. We've got the OSHA uh, certification for construction, the OSHA 10 that they have uh, also passed in construction core. So that's mm -hmm. both for electrical and for carpentry. Excuse me, do they graduate OSHA 10 level? Yes, they do. <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. That's also offered in agriculture, but we're not doing that yet, but hopefully in the future we can um, offer that in the agriculture trade too. Um, in ag, we also have our welding certifications. A lot of the kids go through our welding program and then they go on to the college and get more certifications through our um, partnership with WCC. Um, in our animal science, program we have the bqa certification which is the beef quality assurance certification which the students can get um, as well as food handler and uh, our serve safe food manager uh, certifications that we get in our foods um, pathway so that's been a biggie in mr carpenter's auto service uh, program we are able to give our students the sp sp2 pollution and safety certifications that they can take with them and then hopefully they will continue on through that pathway and then take the first level uh, auto services that he teaches through Wilkes Community College so uh, a lot of our kids go through that whole program and they they love it um, we have 11 pathways at the high school currently and hopefully you know um, next year we are also looking at um, in um, putting in the hospitality and tourism um, pathway, which would, which would be great for this county, considering you know how our, the direction our county's going in. So we're real excited about that. Um, advanced studies, we have a lot of students who are in advanced studies courses. Those courses are, after a student completes a pathway, they can either take a career internship, which is what I do at the high school, I'm the CDC. So they take a career internship where they go and they work at a, job out there right now believe it or not and, and Miss Roten's not here now but my biggest I have 22 kids in career internship this semester that's a lot of kids most of my career internship students are in the health science field and it's all because of our health science teacher and um, this year is the first year since COVID that we were able to get back into the hospital so I am so happy we have six kids over there, seven actually. We have seven kids over there right now going through um, different aspects of the health science field at the hospital now interning. So I'm very excited with that. We have a student who is at um, Sparta School who is interning with our school nurse. And I have one at the landings of Chestnut Grove. She is actually working there and is amazing. So um, we have students in doing that and they also can do a career uh, advanced career studies, which means that they are in 
with the teacher for their pathway and they um, take it just a little bit further. It's almost like if you all remember the uh, old senior projects, if you can remember that, they go into that pathway and they broaden it and they do a project, they do um, a presentation with, to the industry folks that are involved in the advisory committees for those pathways and then they also um, do a research paper and then if they get honors credit they have to do a service project or service piece that goes along with that or they can do a work um, job shadowing piece that goes with it so a lot of those kids they I mean in the past we've had um, uh, one of our kids built a cattle shoot I mean actually welded the entire thing so you know we we've got a lot of really good students who are you know, taking it one step further just to explore that field that they want to go into. So our advanced studies courses are big. We've actually upped that. We, we probably have, by the end of this year, we'll probably have at least 12 kids who've gone through advanced studies in one of the pathways. So that's, that's big. Um, our new pathway I just talked about was our electrical trades this year, and he is doing a fabulous job. The kids really seem to like that, and we are so excited because, as you all know, that's one of those industries that we need to get people involved in. A lot of our um, people who are in the county that's doing electrical trades are at that age <laughs> where they're thinking about retirement. So we need to get some new fresh people in that field. Um, FFA winners, you just saw uh, Kevin. He, we've got lots of kids who are doing lots of things with FFA and this is FFA week. So. Um, very excited that our kids are placing at the state level for our FFA because that's amazing as big as agriculture is here you but you think about it we're a small school versus all these bigger schools and our our kids are placing so we're proud of them um, another thing I want to talk about is our concentrators this year's senior class believe it or not if you are a CTE concentrator that means that you have finished your pathway that means you have taken at least to sometimes three courses in one pathway to, to be a completer or a concentrator in that pathway. And this year we have 90% of our students who have completed some pathway in CTE. So that's pretty amazing. And I also want to tell you, now tomorrow we are finishing up the um, NCRC Work Keys uh, credential uh, testing. It's the Work Keys ACT Work Keys testing. That is a big part of school's accountability piece. And we have 90% of our um, senior population gonna take that test and tomorrow's the next day for testing. But as of right now, we have 10 platinum, 15 gold, 19 silver, and 20 bronze certifications in this senior class. So if we have some additional uh, levels scored, uh, it could be possibly the best year we've had for our ACT work keys testing this year for um, in a long time. So I'm really excited about that. Um, also, um, CT students of the month, um, we really need to, and, and I'm really big on making sure that our, our CT <coughs> students are recognized for all the accomplishments that they um, make throughout the year. We have a lot of really good students and I send kids out there to work that, you know, I think are amazing and uh, I send people, I see Kate over there, I send uh, our AAVC students to her and they come back with with so many great opportunities and not just that but some of them can freelance and get money doing freelancing through our Adobe Academy um, programming which uh, Miss Tammy Carrier uh, teaches at the high school. It's amazing what our kids are doing and I think we need to celebrate it every day because our CTE students are the workforce of the future. So with that being said, yay for CTE month. And that's what we're doing at the high school. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that would be right. It is CTE month and we have great staff. Uh, I'm going to specifically brag on these two ladies. Um, they are tireless work. Oh, I need to say they one do, more they thing. They do a whole lot for the whole district, and I just I thank you for all that y'all do. And I want to say one more thing about Ms. Roten. Um, she is getting ready to have the blood drive, so anybody that wants to give blood, she does that every semester with her students, and the blood drive is going to be March 1st. So anybody who wants to come to the high school and donate blood on March 1st, we'll see you there. Sure. I'll be there, too. <laughs>
<laughs> they are excellent. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, thank y'all for all you do because that, and Mr. Bowman's right. You, they work tirelessly. They did all the time. They really do. Yeah, you know, I can agree with that. And you, <laughs> but you, but you can see what's going on with our CTE program. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to be driving that, and these these two ladies really do drive that. So thank y'all. Thank y'all for presenting to us tonight. Uh, last thing on my report is graduation and promotion dates. Uh, as of right now, <coughs> we uh, we met uh, a few, few couple of weeks ago, but our last day of school is May 23rd right now. If uh, we don't get any more weather, um, so we're, we'd like to set the graduation date. I know it's we're at that point where the folks who fix our diplomas. Need, a, need our order. So, uh, can we set graduation for May the 19th? And um, eighth grade promotion, we're going to do the day before, like we did before, out on the high school uh, stadium, and, and do all three promotions on the 18th. Probably, I, I don't have the exact schedule, we'll probably start off with Sparta that morning around 9. Uh, Glade would probably be roughly around 10.30 or 11, depending on how how long Sparta is, we'll just have to see. And then uh, Piney Creek will be that afternoon. But we'll get those dates uh, put in writing and and, uh, and go from there. I mean, you, know, you guys okay with that? Yeah. Ain't gonna work? Mm. And you're assuming no more snow days, right? Well, I mean, we could, we could, you know, that's, we could, but I mean, we got, we've got days in there. So, uh, but the problem is we got to get the exams done and, uh, and they're off the last five days of the school year. So, um, we should be okay. I just put it that way. We should be. If, if, if not, we can make an adjustment, yeah. you know, but, uh. The problem is you have to order diplomas, <clears throat> and you can't wait till uh, a couple weeks before graduation to order diplomas. The, those companies uh, really, really want it before now. But uh, since we haven't been able to meet, I told them we would give them a, a time by the end of February. So, okay. So we'll get those dates set and get that information out. Please share. So. And that's all I have, Ms. Ray. I'll turn it back over to you. Okay, I've got dates for board training. What did you have in mind for that? All right, so um, it's been hard to get everybody on board. Not, not on board, we want to have it, uh, but it's, it's hard to get a date. So Mr. Wooten want to know, instead of doing it on Saturday, could we do it during a weeknight? So would you guys be okay with a weeknight? Does that work better for you? Well, no, I, six or one half a dozen for, for me. I just think it's difficult to find a Saturday okay. that we're all going to be available. Gotcha. I mean, um, I, I just think weeknights would seem to okay. work better for some and maybe not others. I, right. I don't like to speak for anybody else. Sure. It's just a recommendation. I'm good anytime. Right. Right. Where are we working at? Just... So I, I contacted Allie. To do the training, and she, you know, I, I gave her those two Saturday dates. But she was good on both of those, but um, so that's why I wanted to talk tonight before we said today. Is is there, is there a night of the week that works better? I mean, I don't think Friday night's a good night. Wednesday night's church night, so you know, uh, sports get ready to start, and most of their games are on Tuesdays and Fridays. So maybe a Monday. Let me can I like uh, let me pull a couple of dates, send them. I'll get Sharon to send those dates to you guys, and I'll send them to Allie, and we'll make a decision from there. Would that be okay? Mm -hmm. Could you incorporate it with a meeting, with like our next meeting, or you wouldn't want to carry on? I mean, you know, yeah. you, you got to remember, you're going, that's about three, it's going to be about three, three and a half hours long. But oh, okay, so that's kind of long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that training is, so. Okay. We'll give it a week to itself special. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, so. Uh, let me let me let me get some dates. That's okay. Fine. Yeah. Uh, the sooner the better, though. So um, I'm just let's, let's see where we're at. So, um, yeah. So we're in March, basically. We have pretty much. I mean, we do have the um, we do have the twenty seventh there, um, and. Um, 
more pull up count, you know, real quick where I can see it face to face. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm talking about my calendar. Um, so that March the 6th, that Monday, that's not a good day? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to pull a couple dates. So we've got March 6th, March 13th. That's the day before the board meeting. I don't know if y'all want to meet back to back. Or we could do, we look at uh, <clears throat> March 20th. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, all right. So I, let's contact Alan Mar. See if she can do the 6th or the 20th. 6 o'clock. You want to start at 5 30, 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock? I, I make those rare exceptions. Uh, whenever the rest of the group can get here, I'll get here. Well, we could, we could, we could. We could start at 530 and then uh um, 430. I mean if it okay. legitimately is three hours. Let's yeah. let's yeah, it's right. and, and we could yeah. we we'll have some food so we can we can work we can work through the meeting, but yeah. Probably it probably be better about five thirty. We look at five five. I've got to check with Allie and see what see when she can get here too. That's that's another thing. So I mean she's a working she's a working attorney, so understand why that would work better for her. Okay. 